Hello everybody, I'm sure you're having an excellent conference and thanks for the organizers. I would like to present our GPS location aware alert system that we developed in order to tackle the problem of poisonings. In Israel, as in many countries, a lot of efforts are made in order to prevent the extinction of vultures. Whether monitoring, captive breeding and restocking, mitigation of disturbances at nesting sites, insulating pylons, supplementary feeding, using dogs to detect poison. We carry out sanitation, which I will present shortly, and education. Yet, we still lose vultures from time to time. Unfortunately, too much from time to time, massive poisoning or individuals that die from whether carbon mats, organophosphors, other pesticides, NSAIDs, and lead poisonings. The challenge is huge, huge, almost impossible to predict or prevent, very difficult to detect in real time, and usually when detected, it's already too late hard for fast ground response because it is in a remote area and almost impossible to enforce the law whether there is no fingerprint or the time that passed between the spread of the poison baits and the discover detecting the poison event. In Israel, as in many countries, we are using GPS loggers GPS GSM tags, we use Ornitella. On grief vultures, we use the Ornitrek 50 grams. And on Egyptian vultures, it's the 25 or 30 grams. As many of you use and familiar, this is how we mount uh, Ornitella, Ornitrek on a juvenile Egyptian vulture. But the problem is that we track quite many birds. Right now, about 350 active GPS loggers, about 200 of them on vultures, whether griffon or Egyptian. It is impossible to monitor all manually and to react in real time if needed. This conventional tracking has uh, many limitations, huge time consuming to inspect the data, uh, the data that we are hoping to receive from the birds and then we have to to analyze it and to react if if needed if we want to to preserve the birds not only track for for research we need the availability of an expert to inspect the data and to see that there is a problem that need to be responded and with the number of animals tracked that increased also workload increased has increases dramatically and again, you need the expertise and the time to infer the behavior and the locations. It was my boss to demand that we will develop an automatic system because I was using the computer in meetings all the time and I said I can't close the computer. There is a lot of data arriving and we have to check it and to inform and to set the personnel to check what the vulture is doing or if something had happened. So it was his uh, demand and uh, this was the result, an automatic GPS location alert system for wildlife poisoning or morbidity, mortality. And you can see in the photo already an open low motion index alert, which I uh, will present shortly. It was my colleague Galvan, you'll have his uh, contact soon on the screen, that you used the Django to to uh, design the alert system and they used Python for the programming, but I won't get into details. Uh, I hope you may contact uh, Galvin Vine if you wish, although it's not hard to reach him because he's a very uh, busy person. For the messages, we use the Telegram application because its ability to use bots to generate automatically the, the alert messages or any message. And the messages are sent according to the geography. 
when there is an alert, it is not sent to all our personnel, we are quite a large organization, but only to the field people in the area where the alert, when the bird was, when the alert uh, was created, in order not to cause too much work and you know we are all busy day and night with so many alerts whether it's the emails or telegram or messenger or other applications the alert system architecture is so there are the tags that are set by our colleagues and then mounted on the birds then they start send data using the GSM net data arrived to Ornitella server and from there it is passed automatically to our servers where the data is analyzed. We'll see soon what are the predefined uh, criteria, and if it is met and there is an alert then it is sent by the telegram directly to our uh, uh, rangers in the field, the ground team and then have to, they have to drive and navigate to check why the vultures landed there or why the bird is not moving or in many many times to just to see that everything hopefully is all right but if they need more data updated data because it took them a few hours to arrive the area maybe the bird had moved and they didn't get the alert for some reason then they are contacted or contacting our uh, my colleagues and they get a uh, new data if needed and instructions the system so data fresh data arrived from Onitella and is checked against the predefined suspicious scenarios and these are the scenarios off cliff landing our assumption is that the vulture is landing on cliffs for roosting resting nesting but when it's off cliff landing it many times involved with feeding and we want to check especially in areas where we have the history of poisoning whether from pesticides or NSAIDs if the bird didn't move for 24 hours less than 300 meters then there is an alert and another predefined scenario is the body temperature whether it's below or above the threshold that we set according to our uh, experience and the low motion index low activity when the accelerometers data is calculated and the value which is only a value is less than 100 then it means that something bad happened the the less bad is that the tag had fallen and it's uh, happening from time to time but unfortunately when it's below 100 it can also indicate the mortality of the bird and then an alert is created and the message is sent as I said according to the geography if the alert is still open no new data or the bird is still in the same position then a report would be updated every two hours and until the bird is moved or uh, somebody closed the uh, alert manually the automatic closing uh, will be informed with the message so the field uh, team knows that it doesn't need to to search for the bird anymore and there is no open alert to check and we test it all the time because besides the poisoning problem also false alerts are problems because it reduces the the reaction of our as we all get so many messages each day the telegram alert looks like this these are two screenshot from from the cell phone in this case it's a report the open alerts of that are off cliff landing of two birds that this is the names here there is a new alert open alert of this bird in udia off cliff landing and in this connection you can reach a lot of information including a ways or google maps direction automatically 
but we won't get into it now. And in this case, an alert was closed automatically because whether the bird moved or landed on a cliff. And this is from the communication, in this case using a WhatsApp of the ground teams of our rangers in the Golan Heights. In this case, it's in Hebrew, unfortunately, but I translate for you some of the of the communication. In this case, the ranger arrived to the alert area and he found a gazelle and he sent a report to his colleagues. Three griffon vulture took off a gazelle. Um, and another ranger said, may it always be like that, that, it's, that they took off, of course. Here's a different case, a uh, location alert for, for this area. And the ranger wrote, it's in Sindiana, the name of the place. The regional ranger wrote, I'm in the garage. Who's checking? So somebody backed up him and went and checked. And, and, and then photographed and gave a, sent a report. There were two griffon vultures. Of course, it's not what he wrote. He wrote in Hebrew. I just translated to English. And two adult Egyptian vultures that flew away. And then he report, I can't verify medications, which means that it might be with medications. And then he's throwing it away. And from the, and there is a, in each area a place to tow the carcasses. And then they are collected for the, by the company that is doing sanitation for service for the farmers. So, the effect of using this alert system gave us better and faster detection of poisoning events and mortality, and we succeed to prevent uh, mass poisonings in some case instances. There is a good effect, positive effect, uh, on the communication with the farmers. In not once we discover for them the animal that they lost and they were searching. So there is a trust that we support them for, with information, not only inspection and as rangers. A higher success in preventing consumption, consumption of, of NSAIDs, prevention of feeding on short wild boars, and we have a couple of, of cases where the vultures had landed yet didn't uh, feed on the on the carcasses of the shot wild boar, but rangers arrived and uh, towed it away that it, wo it won't be available for vultures and other uh, other wild animals. And not least, we succeed to decrease the carrying capacity by detecting those carcasses that and then they were cleared from the environment. There was reduced reduced the overpopulation of predators, jackals, wolves, uh, foxes, wild boars that are feeding on these carcasses and pest species, as feral dogs. And the result is the indication for us in these areas where we carry out this sanitation, there was uh, increase in the remnant world population of the mountain gazelles because there are less predators to predate, especially the fauns. Of course, it saves a lot of time. For us, sanitation means less exposure to NSAIDs because the, these carcasses are cleared from the environment. As here, this camel is being taken with four trucks like this, four by four trucks with a crane, or until it is towed away, it is covered with a mesh that would prevent vultures from, not only vultures from feeding, we had even a case of a striped ayuna that was uh, poisoned by lead together with a griffon vulture, so we prevent also these animals from approaching the carcasses. And as I mentioned earlier, this sanitation reduced the carrying capacity for pest species, and by that reducing the motivation to poison. What's next? Sharing this code with you. But this depends on the availability of Galvine, of course. Uh, improve the interface and also the two-way communication with Ornitella, which are very cooperative, but still we need to, to solve some uh, 
communication problem and this has it means a lot for us because when an alert is created sometimes a long time passes before the next uh, GSM interval and we need to know what's going on in the field so we need an automatic change a respond by the tag when an alert is created but the alert is created in our headquarters and we try to develop it with Onitela that it will be on board on the tag itself so all these predefined criteria would be already uh, within the tag. I would like to thank of course Onitela and especially Mdaugas my colleagues in the INPA, the Rangers, for the patients, and my colleagues, different colleagues in the office, and the Ron Frat, which is now our contract to, do, to improve those alerts. And of course, a Gal Vine that you may contact, and I would share this for everyone who would ask. Thank you for listening, and hopefully the continuous meeting would be fruitful. Thank you.